I'm very grateful to Steve. I guess I sometimes forget to be grateful to Steve for that, but 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 but, but I must be because uh, I, I would never have written Ghost Story had I not read Stephen King's work previously. Anyhow, so I mean that was a I. The reason I didn't think I'd be persuaded, of course, is that he was a genre writer. And at the time, a genre writer nobody heard of. Salem's Lot had been published, Carrie had been published, and had done pretty well, but it was still really obscure. Salem's Lot was about to be published, no, had been published, but without any indication on its jacket that it was a vampire novel. Uh, I'm talking about the paperback. He was relentlessly, ruthlessly put down by most reviewers, especially academic or literary writers who dumped on him savagely. Uh, so I read this guy and I thought, well, <laughs> this guy's got a lot of blood on the ball. <laughs> He's, I mean, he was, he was like a fiction machine. Uh, he was all, all his parts were an adjustment, you know, all he had to do was learn how to, drive his car a little faster, uh, although he was he had a lot of velocity to begin with. I was uh, excited by Steve's work, and I, I, I loved him. Uh, we, we were all very, very great friends, and it was, um, it was a lovely time, and he was a great guy to talk to because he was extremely direct and funny, and uh, he knew what hor horror was about. Unlike me, he's just muscled forward. I, I don't know how he does it. I mean, I am actually stunned to see an, yet another one of these massive books uh, come out every year. You know, once Steve told me if he couldn't write, he thought he'd be up on, a, on an overpass with a rifle. <laughs>